So guys, reuniting after all these and years. It feels so good. Sorry. Oh yep. my goodness. <laughs> um, how exciting was it to get together and be a team again? I hated it. Fabulous. It was really yeah. exciting and fun and a chance of a lifetime and with enormous gratitude and um, and uh, enthusiasm and uh, kind of a giddiness we started this movie. Yeah, I'd say. No, it was, it was uh, kind of like that family reunion and like time has never passed though when you see everybody. So it's kind of like, oh, how's this, how's that, ha ha, all right, let's get back to work. And I know, yeah. just, I, think, I think you can't compare the two in a sense. We both had fun, I think, on both films. Mm -hmm. It's just, I don't know, it wasn't really different per se. It wasn't different, but it was know? beautiful to see how a family could evolve and how Louis's family um, has now three children and mm -hmm. there's a daughter with, with John and Nia and that's so awesome. how we saw how generations, you know, my Aunt Vula's life didn't change that much. Her kids got older, but um, so I don't think my evolution was as big. But to witness everybody around us, that was pretty touching. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, now the entire cast came back for the for the second film, mm -hmm. but of course we had the character of Paris come in. Um, how was just talk about in terms of the story? Um, well, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me catch up. Uh, so, yeah, I got ahead of myself. Yeah. So, a little more about, you know, where we find Angelo and Aunt Vula. Um, what can we expect from their stories this time around? Um, I think for myself, the character Angelo, he, you know, he's always, the, I think it's a little more in-depth of the character. You got to kind of get to know him a little bit more. Where, as opposed to the first one, you know, he was doing the little one-liners and, hey, Angelo, what do you think about that? And, you know, me and, you know, my cousin busted chops. So for this one, it's more or less of, you know, anything you kind of need, I can take, you know, whether it be a box of steaks or a TV or a cake, it just falls off a truck somehow and it's done, no problem, no questions asked. Hmm. And what's exciting about this character, though, he gets to kind of really expand his, his kind of wings and kind of, you know, really, uh, you know, get in a little more depth, I think, with this character. I think that's what, what, what people are going to be kind of uh, excited and, 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 and hopefully happy about, I think, because it's it really... Nia did a great job as far as getting more people that haven't really had the camera time, per se, or the character to really develop. And that's, I think, that's kind of what my character did in this film. And I think for, for Aunt Vula, um, she really speaks her mind even more, I think. You know, I mean, you can elaborate on that. Well, I think Nia just wrote some beautiful, funny sequences and lines for her. And um, I hope I delivered them okay. <laughs> but, yeah. How can we all identify with this family? Um and just get so invested in their lives and laugh and love with them? Uh, I think because it's, it's, you know, it, it, it's real. You know, it, it, this, this script stems from Nia's personal life. And I think we can all relate to somebody, whether it be the, the aunt that's outspoken or the cousin that always gets stuff or, you know, the drunk uncle that's always there at weddings, per se. Um, I think it's just the, the realism of it. And I think from life experience, like I said, with Nia, you know, having a child now, you know, she was able to write from her experience. Before she didn't, she could, in a sense, because she didn't have a child. You know, everybody could tell her and explain to her, but to really have that feeling of a child and knowing the trials and tribulations that you go to, just even the little simple nuances, with going to college, and I'm actually dealing with it right now where even though my kid's in ninth grade, they're already talking about college and they should go look at colleges and oh everything else. Goodness, it's Are you crazy. Serious? Yeah, that's serious. That's so insane. it's crazy to see what's happening, you know, as her, you know, parents being a senior and dealing with that. So it's all those real life, you know, moments. I think that's what makes it special, makes it real. Thank you both so much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Take care.